Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to spawn in a player in Unity. Let me just do this off camera so I don't waste your guys' time. A few moments later. It took me a while to find something because I couldn't find any placeholder textures. So I just went on the Unity Asset Store and found this nice, uh, this nice just like tutorial scene. It's a uh, Steam Tutor tutorial scene. So. I'm liking it, and I'm gonna use this. There's a few different ways you can go about spawning the player. You can make a empty object and name it something like player spawner or player manager, something like that. I'm just gonna name it player spawner. All right. So first thing, I'm just gonna. You don't have to do this, but I like doing this. Just to clarify, I just like having it. And then we're gonna go public game object. And then we'll just call it player. All right, so this is gonna be the player you're gonna drag in from Unity. This is what you're gonna spawn. And then we're gonna make a void start. Sorry. All right, and then you're gonna instantiate, and then uh, you're gonna instantiate, and then put parentheses, and then say player, comma, new vector three, and then random dot range. And then in here, we're gonna put something, but first we have to reference it first. So we're gonna go public float. Uh, we'll start with min, yeah, we'll start with min x. And then we're gonna go public float max x. And then public low min y and public low max max y and then i just realized i forgot to put semicolons there so i did that and then we have two more we're gonna do public float min z and public float max z all right we're gonna have three random range so you can just set this up like this all right and now in the first random range we're gonna do min x and max x and then the second one i'm gonna do min y and max y and then third obviously min z max max z all right and this line right here is or wait i forgot one thing uh min dot it is identity all right and now this is gonna spawn in the thing basically safely exit out once you saved it and go back into unity so we have our player game object right here min x max x min y max y min z max z so some things like this may not work for uh games like this so that's why if you're gonna make like a survival or something i recommend using a raycast i'll leave a link to a video that i think is very useful for spawning in a player using a ray uh yeah raycast so i'll leave a link to that in the description but yeah we'll just proceed with this so you're gonna 
grab your bean. Yeah, you know what? All right, so we're gonna go ma ma min y. Let's just find this here. We'll just make an empty object. Uh, um, testing. All right, yeah, we'll just name it testing. And then we'll find a min, which is okay. So zero. We'll just raise it a little bit, so we'll say one for min minimum of y, and then we'll just go as far as saying eight for max. So for player spawner, min y one, max y eight. I'm sorry, my foot's throat's a little raspy. I gotta mention that. <coughs> <clears throat> I'm sorry. And then for this one we'll go four point six five and negative fifteen. All right, so what was this one again? Alright, so for that we'll just go four. Four negative fifteen. And then the z-axis. Let us see. We'll go, we'll go four and, let's see, four and, all right, basically just the same thing, since we're in a square, so four and negative 15. That doesn't make sense, but. I just want to fix this just because. All right, now we can start it and we get a bean in a random location. Hold on, I gotta fix the camera. <laughs> Sorry, hold on. Um, here, we can just add main camera on here. And then just hollow this one out and when we play we get random so there you go but uh we're gonna add a rigid body on this rigid body so we can get a little bit of gravity here you know bam and we collapse to the ground it's best if you make this a prefab like this you make it a prefab down here and then in here you replace the bean with this bean and then delete this and then you hit play again it still spawns the bean in we got the bean right here still works so there you go for 3D, that is player spawning. With this, I will leave a link to the uh, like files. You can just download them directly from uh, my GitHub. I'll post this thing for that in the description. So you can go there quickly, easily, done. All right, now on to 2D. All right, so I have my Chrome everything set up. I, I just used a um, an asset I found from the store. Uh, it's called Pixel Art Platformer Village Props, and I'm just using a Scarecrow as a reference to my 
player. So you can see before it doesn't render anything since we're not doing anything yet. All right, so we're gonna create our player player spawner. Or we'll just say player spawning. I don't have that big of a brain right now. Player spawn spawn 2D. All right, that's what we'll call it. And then create an add. So add component, I just named mine player spawn 2D and then create an add. All right, and then we'll open this up in Visual Studio. All right, and for this, we're gonna, I'm gonna add that cool ref for and source. We'll add that cool, uh, yeah. And add this, all right, public. Uh, hold on, let me get something clear. This is pretty much nearly the exact same thing. It just has a few tweaks. Um, we'll name this player. Public. I'm just gonna skip through this guy. For, yeah. All right, so we're doing this. We're adding all these floats and everything, but we're not doing the Z. We're just doing X and Y. And then we're gonna do instantiate. Instantiate player. And then it was new vector. Instead of three this time, it's gonna be vector two. And then you're gonna do random dot range and this is gonna be min x max x and then comma there to separate the random or the yeah just the random ranges and then min y max y And then we also need to, uh, yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, identity, and then semicolon. A few moments later. All right, so I just had to go through a little bit of messing around with these, um, these axes. I don't know how to pronounce it. Axes, axes. These uh, x and y. I just had to adjust a few of these and then make it a prefab, plop it in here, do all that stuff. I think I showed you that. So now it just completely randomizes where we go. So that's player spawning randomized. That's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this helped. All links will be in the description. You can download them there. If you have any problems, comment them and I'll try to help you. Peace out.